Hello everyone, my name is Lily and welcome back to another episode of Oxenfree. Uh, where we last left off, our brother Jonas just went into the cave and our best friend Ren is uh, in his own little world. So let's go ahead and follow him and hopefully not die. <laughs> That's actually a really cute photo. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, okay, cool. We can climb. I hope we can't die because I don't, I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> okay. How far did he go? We weren't even away from him for like that long. And he pretty much just booked it. <laughs> he was like, I'm out of here. These people are terrible. Where did that light come from, though? Like, there's no way that it could have penetrated to where we saw it. Oh my gosh. Um. Ugh, Jonas, I'm gonna friggin' kill you for this. Yeah, this is really scary. How? What? Down here? Yeah, okay. My goodness. Where's the light coming from, too? Like, I don't remember seeing a moon. But as long as we can see where we're going, I guess it doesn't really matter. And then over here. This is a very beautiful game though. Like beautiful in a way that um, is different from a lot of the stuff we've been playing recently, but it's gorgeous. What is this? Debris? Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, what is that? See a man about a dog? See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. He got here really quick. Are you okay? <sighs> Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? The sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. <sighs> There was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. That sounds reasonable. Only not really, because cave spelunking can kill you. So please, please be careful when you guys do anything. Don't be reckless like these kids. Wow, what? Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a like a rainbow or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? Uh, maybe? Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. 
I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. This is an awful idea, but <laughs> why not? Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Hold on. Saw the man, but not the dog. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. Okay, we're ready. For disaster. There we go. Everything was like in the hundreds. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Take it easy. Maybe it's the Morse code? Okay, so we got to connect it. I don't see it moving anymore. Okay, let's go back. This is a bad idea. I don't know what's going on, but this is not a good idea. Is it here? No. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. That doesn't look good. Oh my gosh. What? Oh. Alex. Alex. What? Alex? Are you okay? You all right? I think so. I don't know. God. Are you okay? Yeah, I think. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the- No, I'm way ahead of you. There's got to be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. 
Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de-pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and, like, I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Harden Tower. I'm sorry. It's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. I keep interrupting them and I feel terrible, but I don't want the things to time out. My question is, how did we get from the cave up here? This is a little bizarre. But I, I, I'm worried about these kids, honestly. I'm definitely worried about these kids. Oh, I guess we gotta go this way. This is gorgeous, though. Like, I'm. Every new scene, I'm just like, damn, this is so pretty. Okay, let's look at the view. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. Oh, shit. He's lockpicking it. There's a window here, though. It's open. Can we just go through the window? <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. How funny. Uh, SOS? Mayday, Mayday, um, CQD? CQD? Come quick, danger. It's, um, Dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. Oh, I want to look at this. I'm sorry. Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. You don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? <laughs> Sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, I don't know. <laughs> fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. My. Yeah, I got good too. Hello? Alex? Alex? Is what? that? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I. You guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I. I saw the light on in the. Uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, it's how are you calling funny. us? Phones don't work here. It's. It's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like 
Like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. I... How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or... I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This... It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he I'm is. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. Yeah, I... sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's, like... I don't know. I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... She hung up? And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Oh, no. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so wanna truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kinda more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Uh, well, I guess you'll just surprise me. Read on. So I couldn't decide. Like, I wanted to see... Can we look at a map? We, okay, I don't know how I got to the map. Um... And I don't know who's closer. I guess we'll just wing it. Because I, I don't I don't know what else to do, honestly. And, like, this is such a bizarre situation, but at least... Let's get out of this area and keep going and see maybe what we can find. Uh, cause yeah, like this is, this is pretty scary to be honest. And the noises on the phone and the radio are not helping at all. Are you stuck Jonas? You coming? Goodbye. There he is. Oh, he had to wait for me to get off the ladder first. Okay. This, I, oh my gosh, the texture on everything is so beautiful. I love this. This is a really beautiful game. It's, it's, it, yeah, as I said before, it's, it's beautiful in a different way from the games that we've been playing recently. Okay, so it looks like this is finally open. How did we get in here in the first place? Oh, uh, okay, so no, we were just at Harden Tower, so we gotta go to a 50 Fields. Oh, oh, okay, so here's the map. So control is the map, or? I don't know, okay, so we're here. Epiphany Field is here. So we can go to Milner Outpost. I don't really see any other way to get up to uh, where Ren is, to be honest, like it's it's here. So I guess we'll go through Epiphany Field, we'll go to Milner Outpost, grab her. I don't know where Nona is. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's how to get to the map. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh. Uh. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Just checking, you know? Okay. How are you? Uh, could be better, but... We'll get through this and on to bigger and better. Good talk. Oh, where does this way go? Wait, let's see our map. Okay, cool. Alder Estate. Oh, cool. Okay. So I'm, just, I'm hoping that we have to grab everybody and then come back down because I definitely want to go to the Adler house. That would be really cool. I want to explore all of this. So I'm hoping that we get to do that at some point. But I guess we'll go and save our friends first, because why not, right? I think it'd be better if we were all, like, together, because then it'll be less scary. 
Especially since, um, we have no idea what happened and no recollection of what happened. Statue. I guess it's for the sentries they stationed here during the war. Hey, I don't know if you noticed when we were home, but you can see the statue from my bedroom. Really? That's pretty cool. Are we going the right way? I hope so. Let's hit this way was the place we gotta go. Oh, there's a radio thing here. Can we listen to this? I was like... And now that I think about it, Harden Tower had one of those too, right? This is the Sentry, huh. sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasbury. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kenaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful Sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies, both foreign and domestic. This is the century. Oh, that's the one. I kind of want to go back now. I'm going to quickly run back because I want to listen to the one about the tower, and I didn't realize it until we came here because I'm a dumb butt. But how do we get there? Because it said that this, we probably have to go down. It's cool. I'll just meet you guys at the tower. Huh? What oh. is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Okay, hold on. I made a mistake. Uh, wait. Clarissa still needs our help. You should find her at least before we head back out. Rens but I wanna... I wanna go back. something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out. What if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned? And there's, like, still people. Like, in there. Like, doing stuff. What are you even talking about right now? Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh... Sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. I guess that we can go back. I accidentally clicked to come here because I thought that this is the way back to the tower, but it clearly it was not. So if I can go back to the tower, then I'll go and listen to the radio there. But I'm glad I at least found out about the radio before I finished the game. See that sign? They were originally going to make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very uh, safe, so I can understand why. It's just my going premise right now, so... He likes to say that a lot. I guess we have to come down here. Uh, let's listen to the radio for this one. Okay. I said, could this be one of them damn booby traps? Hmm, could be. That sounds like Bugs Bunny. Huh. It's the music channel. Fort Milner was the home huh. of the U.S. Army Radio Communications School, which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved Clarissa! to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post you? closed in 1974, and it still resides there help. to this day. Wait. Fort yeah. Milner was the home of yeah, the U.S. So. Army Radio Communication. Oops. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the controls on this. Um, but Jones, take it easy. Take it easy. What if there's like some animal hunting us? You gotta be careful. Spooky. Yeah. 
You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to either. Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a a snub nosed centennial. Even small, they're heavy. I never liked it. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Now they're not messing around. Does the f uh, don't worry about it. Kids do this all the time. The worst that happens is you snag yourself on a nail or something and have to go get a tetanus shot. Okay, facilities. Okay, so I guess let's go back and check out this building. I, I, I keep pressing the radio because I, the shift is to run usually and it's not to run in this situation. It's locked? It's locked. Uh, Jonas, can you lockpick, please? That would be so helpful. I would love to get into that building and see what's happening in there. I love the atmosphere of this. This is so good. I, yet, like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm on, not on edge. Definitely a bit spooked. Just because I don't know what is happening and what to expect. But I like going into games not understand, not knowing. Can we climb? Oh, we can. Okay. I just want to check and see what the sign over here says. Super quick. Super quick. Facilities and post. Okay. So, and it ends over there. I guess we could jump. But let's go back to this door over here. Because I'm afraid that I'm going to forget about something and then we'll never see what it was about. Hold on. Right here. It's like... It's not locked. There's like something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? What do you think? Keep looking? Uh... I think... We should keep looking. You're probably right. Yeah, because... I mean... I hope that she's not in there. We could always come back for her. Because if she heard us on the door, then she would open it. Maybe she's in one of these other buildings. There's only one way to find out. Try not to die. There's another signpost there. I'll come back to it. I don't like... They move a little slow and I don't like running around so much. That's lock two. Okay. What does this say? Oh, the relay point. Relay point is where our best friend is. Um, facilities is behind us. Help Clarissa, US Army. Okay, I, I guess we'll go back. Hmm. I mean, if we can't get through that door, we have no choice but to move on. And let's be honest, guys, like Clarissa is kind of mean. She's not treating us like garbage, but she could be nicer. And sometimes when I feel like people are mean, like they can take care of themselves. Like we don't need to help them. They're fine. Unless, until they're not fine, you know? Can we, we can't do anything here anymore though. Is there anything else that we could possibly do? I, <laughs> I like the exploration, but the, I don't know, I'm getting, I'm, I don't know. I don't know how to use words today. Let, okay, let's try and go in here. And worst case scenario, we go and get Ren first. Because we already tried the door. We can't get through it. It's not letting us interact with it further. That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. That means we gotta bring out the radio. I okay. found something. Hear this. Two seconds. I'm lost. I don't want to be found. Let me be lost. I don't want to be found. That is super creepy. Is that from something else? Oh, oh. Is this where we die? It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Oh. 
Okay, well... Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio man for the door. Sure. Thanks, radio man, for making chills go down my spine because I'm thoroughly spooked. If there was a level of spook that I was at before, it's gone a tier higher. <laughs> Spooky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess let's go in. I, I guess let's go in. Yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? It really wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was like for a few months, but you know, that's nine weeks in the scheme of things. I've had rashes that lasted longer. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just, what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? You know, Jonas, frankly, I don't really know, and I don't really care, so... All right, hey, it's old news, I get that. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Oh, are you, like, into her? No, not at all. Too bitter. All right, I guess I'll believe you, for now. You can go ahead and believe me for always on this one. Okay, I didn't want to move because I'm going to call this episode here. I think I've got the saving system down because if you don't, if you if you quit the game at the wrong place and you have to replay everything all over again and that really sucks. So I'm going to call this episode here. Hopefully it'll save perfectly. Uh, but thanks for joining me on this episode, guys. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, throw those down below. And if you want to continue this journey with me, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get a notification on when the next episode comes out. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Bye!